So, um, can you, when you came out from prison, um, did you get much support from the church? Because a few people that I spoke to um, since doing this documentary and other in, ex-inmates like myself, yeah, like this, they felt like they couldn't tell their church that um, where they come from, they was in prison and stuff like that. They, they basically embarrassed to testify about where God has brought them from. Do you think? Well, well, that's a good point mm. that you brought up because. Um, when I came out of prison, I wasn't that, I wasn't in church yet. Yeah. But at the same time, when I was going to church, I didn't. That's why I love the prison, prison ministry because it's a big freedom for me. Yeah. I can release myself in the prison ministry. Yeah. I can be who I am mm -hmm. and grow who I'm supposed to grow. Yeah. But in the, in the church, I'm held down. Okay. I'm held as a captive because I could never ever say that I was imprisoned or I smoked ganja or I drink or I cuss or I use, uh, was men with, with guns and things like that because the, um, you know, coming from them lives because uh, they have you off. Okay. They have you off. They, if you come near them, them things, you're going to rob them, them things. You know, you, she's, uh, they, they just don't, there's something about it. You get an inferiority complex yeah, yeah. when you're there with them. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've experienced it, so I really don't tell them much about me. Yeah. And it's a shame because a lot of people would like to hear my testimony. But I have to go elsewhere to do it. Mm -hmm. I cannot do it in, 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 in the church. Okay. Well, I would encourage you to tell them, testify about where you've been through, through even though you know it's well, uncomfortable for us sometimes, you know, we have to bring up, but it, it's a testament of where God has brought us from I, you know, and the work that he's doing in our lives. I told them once in the church in Jamaica, yeah. New Testament church and that, and I've never said it again. Okay. No. I find that people have you off yeah. and uh, it's a scrutiny mm -hmm. and I'm not down with it. If I yeah. want to go and talk more about it, I go outside or do a one-to-one -one, mm -hmm. or I go to um, the prisons yeah. and that's what I do. Okay. And uh, that's why I love the prison ministry, yeah. prison outreach network. That's why I'm, I'm not into, I, I don't leave there. I might go on holiday, but as I come back, I'm there. Yeah. I'm calling them to invite me to one of the prisons because they all, that's where God is using me. That's the platform he's given me. Yeah. And yeah. I realize it. And that's where I can uh, release mm -hmm. what's in me and uh, to gain really my uh, forgiveness from everything that I've done and that people have done to me. Yeah. And I learn a lot from Emmanuel and uh, Eve and uh, Bims and, and uh, all the rest. Yeah. You know, I learn a lot. Yeah. And um, even now, I mean, I, I'm, I'm carrying on with my studies. I'm, I'm going to the university now. I'm doing a degree okay. in public health and health amen, promotion. Amen, and amen, amen. I'm just going higher and higher yeah. because God wants me there. Amen. And, there's, and, I, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm moving on in God. And when you're moving on in God, you're going to higher heights and deeper depths. Amen, amen. So that's where I want to go. Because to me, today, God is my best friend and God is... He's the only one that uh, I feel confident in. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm in a good place. Yeah. 